Judge Neil Gorsuch's hearing is now underway in the Senate, and I urge members of both parties to swiftly approve his nomination. He is an outstanding man from an outstanding family with an unbelievably wonderful wife. They should approve. All right, so that was President Trump last night praising Judge Neil Gorsuch, who today faced questions at a Senate confirmation hearing. Now, it was hard for Democrats to lay a glove on Judge Gorsuch, but that won't stop them from trying to smear, slander, and besmirch him. And that is tonight's mini monologue. All right, so today, Judge Gorsuch, he took the Democrats' gotcha questions all in stride. He used a lot of humor during the grilling. Take a look. If you were on the court, which side would you have voted with? Senator, I, I, I admire the various ways. <laughs> you were, you, you, I, 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 you, you'd be a formidable um, companion in the courtroom. I'm just a, I, I'm a lawyer from a small town. Yeah, all Boston. right. I've, I've heard that story. <laughs> that, that, that whenever, whenever a lawyer says I'm just a lawyer from a small town, watch out. He's about. Last time, you got to watch your, you got to watch your wallet because it's gone quickly. My experience. All right, so Judge Gorsuch and the Republicans, they better be ready for an all out brawl because Democrats, they're going to continue to launch a vicious onslaught of attacks. That's their history. Now, despite the judge's stellar record on the bench, the Democrats are still angry over the election results, which led to Gorsuch's nomination. Now, the left, they're perfectly willing to use dirty, disgraceful political tactics, all to try and derail a Republican Supreme Court nominee. This is nothing new, and history points this out. Now, for example, look at Judge Robert Bork. Back in 1987, he was nominated to the Supreme Court by President Ronald Reagan. The Democrats, led by Senator Ted Kennedy, used scare tactics, smear tactics to destroy the nomination. Take a look. Robert Bork's America is a land in which women would be forced into back alley abortions, blacks would sit at segregated lunch counters, rogue police could break down citizens' doors in midnight raids, and school children could not be taught about evolution. Writers and artists would be censured at the whim of government. All right, all smears, all lies, and after Kennedy's stunt on the Senate floor, Democrats, they were able to block the nomination, and that's how we ended up with the term being borked. Now, then there's the case of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. During his Senate hearings, this was back in 1991, Democrats rolled out his former colleague, Anita Hill, to make sexual harassment allegations against him. This process was so nasty, Justice Thomas called it a, quote, high-tech lynching. Watch this. This is a circus. It's a national disgrace. And from my standpoint, as a black American, as far as I'm concerned, it is a high-tech lynching for uppity blacks who in any way deign to think for themselves, to do for themselves, to have different ideas. And it is a message that unless you kowtow to an old order, this is what will happen to you. You will be lynched, destroyed, caricatured by a committee of the U.S. U.S. Senate rather than hung from a tree. All right, Democrats, they proved time and time again they will stoop to new lows to get anything they want. Now, Judge Gorsuch and Republicans, you better be ready for a knockdown, drag-out fight from the left because that's how they roll.